Hey, what's up, people? Dimitri Dimitri Scopelite here. Another uh, video with Tonex. Uh, this time uh, we're gonna go a little bit more deep into the software. Uh, so, in, on the previous video, basically, we, we demonstrated how to use uh, um, the Tonex, uh, like the, the default patches in the Tonex, tweaking a little bit. And I recorded a song which is actually called. Um, X, which takes the title from the tone X, and the song is, uh, you, you can check out the video, uh, you, you're gonna find the link at the end of this video, just clicking on it, and you're gonna see the previous video, and you can download, uh, uh, if you wanna support me, the, the song X, which is gonna, which is being distributed on Bandcamp as a um, digital download, and it's gonna be uh, on Spotify, uh, soon as a one minute edit version. And so the latest time we played um, the default um, uh, patches, now actually I did some patches by myself using the software. Uh, you can see the software here, uh, which is um, divided in three different modes. Mode number one at home, and then we have modeler to basically uh, do the profiling or the modeling and then we have uh, the third one which is librarian uh, make sure you update your firmware especially before getting to the librarian thing otherwise you're gonna get a little bit stuck I guess um, here you can see the control panel you have uh, you can basically use the tone X as an audio interface uh, assigning all the in and the out but let's keep going. Uh, so the latest time, basically, I used those three patches on bank number one, zero one, uh, fifty one fifty, which was the rhythm of the of the video, the rhythm and solo. clean which is a plexi And then there was uh, the bass patch, which of course I'm not going to demonstrate since I'm not playing the bass at this moment, maybe later. Uh, and then we go to the one I did basically today. Uh, I found the soul down here, which probably was this one here, and I drag it into, um, into my pedal basically, which is here. And. Um, I then I tweak it from the pedal basically. So the sound I got was this. I tweak it was directly from the from the pedal so basically here you have all the controls 
and on the regular mode uh, you have basically the gain here bass so EQ mids treble and volume and then if you push it down if you hold it down you go to the alt mode uh, and you use the same knobs with different meaning in a way. So you have the river. Basically, it's the control over the impulse response that you have uh, in the pedal and in the, I mean, in the algorithm of the of the patch. And then you have the compressor. presence and the depth And then we move to the second patch, which is a twin clean. So let's try to make a patch. You find one that is already done, like a preset already done, like this Mesa Boogie, Distortion Boogie. You drag it in, let's say, on the on this plexi that I actually don't use, and overwrite, and then basically you select it, and you have it. So just listening to, to this, I think we have we need a little bit more gain. Open a little bit of uh, EQ. 
fuel, more travel, more mids, less bass. for me so I would actually change into this uh, let me see if you go open here the ton net you have way more stuff let's try out this rectifier instead <laughs> too much scooped so what we do now we go to the EQ more miss maximum miss now it starts sounding a little bit better less bass more treble less gain We need a little, bit, a little bit more presence, so we hold this down, Alt mode, and we go to the presence, which is here. There we go, and we get more life. To save, you just need to hold this and then press it again on this position here, which is zero freebie. And here we go, you have it. So now I have the distortion for my next video, which is gonna be a playthrough of a song, new song. I'm gonna make a song using those. Um, patches that I just did. This was one and the other one is the is the clean the twin clean that I just played before. Of course you don't have any effects in the tone X since uh, it's more like an amp, a profiler and an amp. And uh, you, the only thing you have is the control over the reverb which is the um, um, the impulse response, so the room where the, the amp was modeled. And after that we're gonna do an example of how modeling amps, which is gonna be really fun, since uh, I think the best way to sample your own sounds, to, to make your own patches, to actually start from your own amp, you know, and with the, all the tweaking the way that you usually do that. Um, um, in a really really old school analog way if you know what i mean but uh first we're gonna play a song with those presets
So yes, here we go. Um, thank you very much for following me. And um, the next video is gonna be something more musical. We're gonna use uh, those patches in a real uh, rock and roll environment. So no words will be needed anymore. All right. I will really appreciate if you take the time for um, subscribe and ring the bell. Thank you very much. See you soon. Bye.